worries about cyber attacks are back. A posting on chat forum Pastebin warns of a new wave of cyber attacks against big American banks. The message is from a group called the Al Qassam Cyber Fighters, and it says the attacks will be hit in the coming months. So far, only one bank, Regions Financial, has been attacked. The group targeted nearly two dozen financial institutions over the past year, freezing their websites and mobile apps so customers couldn't get access to them. Banks like J.P. Morgan have been pledging more resources to build sophisticated technology to prevent these attacks. Well, that threat is a timely reminder of why the annual Black Hat Conference is taking place in Las Vegas right now, bringing thousands of computer hackers and cybersecurity experts together to show off their skills and the latest technology to thwart such attacks. Much of the talk this year is about admitted NSA leaker Edward Snowden, who incidentally was given temporary asylum in Russia today, and where the next Edward Snowden may come from. The answer may surprise you. Eamon Javers is in Sin City and joins us now with more. Eamon? Hi, Tyler. Well, normally here at Black Hat, government security experts and independent hackers and private company executives who focus on cybersecurity all work pretty well together. This year, however, a lot of tension in the room, a much different story. The number one topic of discussion, as you have said, is the revelations by Edward Snowden about what the NSA has been up to. People in the community are very you know, fairly skeptical. I mean, they're professional skeptics. The NSA's surveillance programs are a hot topic at Black Hat this year, the first big hacker and cybersecurity conference since Edward Snowden leaked no top secret information else. about the programs in June. And while hackers have made their disapproval clear over just how much data the government is collecting, some say the biggest threat to our privacy comes from an unexpected source. Well, maybe Edward Snowden is a tip of the iceberg, but I'm waiting for the, the Facebook leaker or the Amazon or the Google or you know, some other Yandex, some other search engine, somebody that's got more data than we understand that they have. Jeff Moss is the founder of Black Hat and DEF CON, two of the biggest cybersecurity and hacker conferences in the world, and is a current advisor to the Department of Homeland Security. He says people would be surprised to discover just how much these companies know about us. According to the Wall Street Journal, Google has credit card information on more than 200 million Android owners and is facing pushback on its privacy policies in Europe. Facebook, with over a billion accounts, has access to even more data on its users. And there's no oversight committee. There's no congressional inquiry into what, you know, these giant search engines are doing with our data. And in a world that's more reliant on technology than ever before, people may have to get used to the fact that privacy may be a hard thing to come by. And guys, actually, not everybody here is a supporter of Edward Snowden. We've talked to a number of folks who don't like what Snowden did. And, of course, there are a lot of people here who are actually working for the government agencies and the Department of Homeland Security. So there is some divided opinion here. Nonetheless, a fairly strong undercurrent of support for Edward Snowden. Tyler. Eamon Javers, thanks very much. Eamon Javers reporting from Las Vegas.